Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you the three new Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. I have all three of them. I just came back from my local Tom Ford boutique where they had the palettes waiting for me. And I'm going to show you everything today. I'm going to show you the eyeshadow palettes, each of them in different lighting along with swatches and I'm going to share with you my thoughts. This collection was a huge surprise for me. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Angela and I would love to have you as part of this lovely beauty community. So if you enjoy beauty talks, be sure to subscribe. I also have new series on my YouTube channel called French for a Day, where I love to talk about French beauty, fashion and lifestyle. And this, in these videos, I focus mostly on natural, very simple makeup looks along with skincare tips and fashion. So if you want to check that out, I would be very grateful. If you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. For those of you who are not new to my channel, I already mentioned in one of my beauty news videos, I showed you photos of the three eyeshadow palettes and I thought that I shared with you that I was very attracted to hazy sensuality. I knew that I was going to buy this eyeshadow palette because it looks so beautiful and timeless. These three eyeshadow palettes are from the wet and dry formula of Tom Ford. A lot of people say that this is a summer makeup collection. Well, this is actually not the summer makeup collection. This is going to be Tom Ford's summer makeup collection. I'm going to pop a photo here. Uh, this is going to be the Tom Ford Soleil makeup collection, which is going to be summer 2023. It launched in a few European countries. I still don't have the collection, but I, Put my name down for this collection so as soon as it arrives at my local Tom Ford retailer they're going to call me I'm going to review this collection as well but now back to these three new eyeshadow palettes from Tom Ford this is the wet and dry formula from Tom Ford and I really love the wet and dry formula from Tom Ford now initially I was only attracted to hazy sensuality as I see a lot of people um, and a lot of you commented that they are attracted to hazy sensuality. But then once I was in store, initially I thought that I'm just going to swatch the two, the other two eyeshadow palettes and show you swatches in natural light and that's it, but I'm going to skip them. But then once I was in store, the Golden Hour and Peach Dawn looked so beautiful in person and in real life. I'm going to do my best to show you close-ups of the palettes along with swatches in different lighting, but I can say that camera doesn't do justice to this beautiful eyeshadow palette. The Wet and Dry formula from Tom Ford is my favorite because the texture of the eyeshadows is so creamy, buttery, beautiful. It doesn't have fallout and they blend beautifully on the eyes. Now, one thing that is very interesting about these eyeshadow palettes is I looked at them very closely in store and as a lot of you know, I don't like to buy makeup and this year specifically, I'm committed to not buying makeup that I'm not going to use because I think that it's a waste of money first but then it's also not good for the, for the environment to have that much makeup because at the end of last year, I had to get rid of so much makeup that was only swatched and not used at all. I still decided to buy these three eyeshadow palettes because I know that I'm going to be using each one of them. Now, the promo photos definitely don't do justice to these eyeshadow palettes. Initially on the promo photos, I was not attracted to Golden Hour at all, but the Golden Hour is now one of my favorites. I like Hazy Sensuality. Now, all three eyeshadow palettes, as you can probably see, they contain timeless colors. This is not really something that you're going to use only in the summer months or in the spring summer months. These are all colors that you're going to use all year round. And I think that um, Tom Ford eyeshadow palette is a great investment. Now I want to show you also close-ups of the boxes of the eyeshadow palettes because I know that some of you might be allergic to some ingredients. So pause the video when you have to so that you can see the ingredients of the eyeshadow palettes as well. I'm going to show close-ups of each of the three eyeshadow palettes so that you can pause the video and see the ingredients. Now I want to start here with Golden Hour because this was the eyeshadow palette that initially I thought I'm going to just swatch it in store and I'm not going to buy this one, but it's so beautiful in person. And in particular, one thing that I love about all of these three eyeshadow palettes is that each of the colors in the eyeshadow palettes can be combined together or each of the shades in these palettes, each of them can be used as one and done eye color. 
they are so beautiful. Now from Golden Hour, my two favorites is this one here and this here. These two colors are truly extraordinary beautiful. I have a lot of Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes and I can say that I don't have repeat shades. I just wanted to take a quick look at my other Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes just to see, but I don't see repeats. Now, Probably they look a little bit similar on the swatches, but they are not actually that similar. It's just that the camera doesn't do justice. Next, I wanted to show you Peach Dawn. Again, a gorgeous eyeshadow palette with these peachy colors. Now, I have to say that I love each of these three colors, and I think that each of these three is going to be fantastic one and done eye color. Even this reddish shade here, it's not truly a red shade. I don't like to use red on my eyelids, but this one is so beautiful. I know that I'm going to be using it. And again, as I said, I love the fact that you can use each of these colors as one and done eye colors. I think that each of these eyeshadow palettes is a great, fantastic investment and it's going to look beautiful on so many different skin tones. Now it's all up to you to decide. And then my favorite one, of course, Hazy Sensuality. This one is initially also at my local Tom Ford counter. They, their favorite one is the Hazy Sensuality, but I came literally, they didn't even have time to play properly with the palettes. So I got mine immediately. Now Hazy Sensuality is definitely the one that I think a lot of people are going to love and most people are going to buy Hazy Sensuality. I know that this one sells out so quickly. Even though this is not a limited edition collection, it is supposed to be part of the permanent line it's selling out so quickly. And at my local Tom Ford counter, they didn't even put the collection on the counter because apparently there are people like me who just called and they wanted to reserve the eyeshadow palette. So I would say, if you like the color story of any of these eyeshadow palettes, I think that this is a very good investment. It's absolutely confirmed. Now, I adore the Tom Ford Wet and Dry formula. I wanted to mention only about the summer makeup collection. I saw the summer makeup collection, but we're gonna keep this a secret. It is beautiful, but not as beautiful as this one. I'm going to show you the summer makeup collection as soon as it launches at my local boutique, but as beautiful as it is, the eyeshadow palettes are not from the wet and dry formula. And I like the other formulas from Tom Ford, but the wet and dry, it's hard to beat this one. It's just so good that sometimes when a brand creates something that exceptional, it's really hard to beat that one. Now I want to show you, um, if you've watched my previous video, you probably know that I have a little um, sensitivity to my eyes. And right now I'm not supposed to use makeup. But I'm going to try and I'm going to use some makeup. I just want to use, I want to try a couple of colors. Um, and I'm going to show you actually some of the colors on one eye and then another color on another eye. I just want to show you something on my eyes. And then of course, I'm going to be using these eyeshadow palettes in other videos as well. So be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. And let's go ahead and get started. I want to start and I want to show you one of my favorite colors. This one is from Golden Hour. It is this color here going to be one of the most beautiful one and done eye colors. If you're not new to my channel and if you have been following me for a while, you probably know that I love one and done eye colors. And I love this kind of eyeshadow palettes from which I can choose, uh, use just one color and that's it. It looks Fantastic. This is exactly what I would use on my eye. It's just a very beautiful color. And then I need a little bit of black coal eyeliner or deep brown coal eyeliner. Call my eyelash, eyelash a supply mascara and that's going to be it. This is just gorgeous. And then I want to take this color, same brush I'm going to be using. This color is fantastic. I'm going to just use it here on the outer corner of my eye. Fantastic. Just brings out. Now, I would say that if you have green eyes or green kind of blue eyes, I think that this eyeshadow palette is going to be very suitable. 
golden hour is going to look beautiful on green, hazel, um, and blue eyes. Now, if you have hazel eyes, it's probably going to bring out some of the green in your eyes. It's beautiful and the colors are so soft. Now, I'm just testing the palettes right now and I want to be careful because of the irritation that I have on my eyes, but still, I cannot skip. Now, let's move on to Hazy Sensuality, my favorite one, and this is a piece of beauty. If you can, definitely get this one. I think that this one, I love it as much as I love um, Tom Ford's Nude Dip Eyeshadow Palette. Nude Dip is one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to go ahead and use this color here. This brush is fantastic if you're like me and you love I'm actually going to be using this color here. This brush that I'm using now is fantastic if you like one and done eye colors like me because it's beautiful just to apply the color very quickly and it only takes a few seconds. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of the other color as well going to apply this one in the inner corner of my eye. I love Tom Ford's wet and dry formula because it's creamy, buttery, you can apply it on the go with fingertips if you don't have the time, or you can use brushes to make it a little bit more precise, of course, but it just brings so much light to the face. Then this color here, again, my favorite, because this is such an extraordinary, gorgeous pink color. I'm going to use the same brush here and apply it right here. Now this pink color here, I'm going to call this a pink color. It is very extraordinary. It has, it is a pink one, but it has this beautiful shimmers almost iridescent shimmers. This is going to look beautiful all over the eyelid for a Saturday or Sunday during the weekend. I like the fact that each of these eyeshadow palettes can be used very successfully in the office, but they can be used for a night out when you feel a little bit more adventurous. Now I'm dipping into the brown shade because I just want a little bit more darkness here. On the outer part of my eye. Okay guys, now let me know what you think in the comments below. I think that I'm done here. I don't want to do a lot of makeup and I don't want to use a lot of products on my eyes because they are still irritated. Um, if you have been following me, you probably know that I have very sensitive eyes and that's why I'm quite conservative when it comes to makeup. I don't like trying a lot of brands because some brands tend to irritate my eyes. I never had problems with Tom Ford eyeshadows and that's why I love them so much because they are nice. The formula is fantastic. They are very artistic as well and they don't irritate my eyes. I feel safe to use them even right now when my eyes are very sensitive and when I have an irritation, I still feel confident to use confident to use them. Okay, I can't speak. I'm so um, excited and I want to put up this video as soon as possible because I know that these eyeshadow palettes are selling out very quickly. Now I wanted to mention quickly and give you some advice on which palettes I think are going to be suitable for different people. I think that in terms of skin tone and complexion, these are timeless colors and I think that they are going to suit pretty much everyone uh, and a lot of different skin tones. Of course, it depends on your preferences because makeup is all about expressing yourself. So you have to decide for yourself. That's why I try to show you the eyeshadow palettes in different lighting. I think that Golden Hour is going to be beautiful for people who have green eyes, hazel eyes. I think that if you have green eyes in particular, golden hour is going to complement beautifully the green in your eyes. It's going to look beautiful also on blue eyes, but specifically if you have green eyes, have a look at golden hour. I think that it's going to be beautiful. Next, Peach Dawn. If you are attracted to the colors, I think that this eyeshadow palette in particular is going to be very beautiful on blue, green eyes, and 
all of the colors in between sometimes people have a mixture of blue and green in their eyes i think that this eyeshadow palette again is going to be very suitable for people with green and blue eyes hazel eyes as well and then moving on to hazy sensuality hazy sensuality is going to look beautiful on everyone but i think that it's going to be particularly beautiful also on brown eyes hazel eyes because these colors are going to look spectacular. They are going to look spectacular on all different eye colors, I think. But this is some guidance that I wanted to give you. I was almost going to forget that I was able to try also the newest Tom Ford fragrance, Soleil de Feu, which I would translate it as fire, sun of fire or fiery sun. Um, so this is a beautiful ambery floral fragrance. It's very soft, smooth, amber floral fragrance. Um, and it's incredibly long lasting, I have to say. Um, I sprayed this one on my arm approximately six hours ago and it still smells. I still can feel it all around me. So this is going to be very long lasting. I want to see the notes of this perfume because I can definitely describe it as as I was wearing it today, I can definitely describe it as ambery floral fragrance. It's smooth, very soft. The kind of perfume that I would probably wear is definitely a unisex fragrance. It's almost like a sunsetty, very ambery, soft scent. I would, I would think that this is going to be equally successfully, successfully worn by men and women in the sunset. Well, and it's exactly how the fragrance is described. Apparently I'm getting the vibe very correctly here. It is described as smoldering amber woody scent evoking sunset light. It's exactly what it is. It is a little bit... I can definitely feel the amber floral vibe in this fragrance. It's very soft, it's very smooth, sensual seductive i would say but in a very ambery way if that makes sense so it's not exactly my type of scent it is supposed to represent the bronze solar light and it's exactly what this fragrance is i would say that it is going to be very suitable for the summertime for a summer sunset for those long hot summer nights this one is going to smell so strong during the summer i I like it, I appreciate it, but once again, it's not my kind of scent. I just prefer more girly, fruity, floral, fresh fragrances. This is my kind of vibe, these are my kind of fragrances. And this one, probably occasionally I would wear it. I would appreciate it very much if I smell it on somebody else, but it's not my DNA. It's a beautiful scent though. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me and don't forget to let me know in the comments below which one of these three eyeshadow palettes is your favorite. I would love to hear your thoughts now that you've seen them. I want to know which one is your favorite, which one is on your wish list, and if you've tried already any of these eyeshadow palettes, let us know what you think in the comments below as well. I can't wait to interact with you, I can't wait to communicate with you, so don't forget to leave me a comment. Until next time, bye!